I'm AJ McLaughlin. I'm Ryan Ruiz. I'm DJ Rich. I'm Ruben Cesar Telford. I'm Clinton Martinez. And we are the hosts of Opinions and Consequences, the podcast, the show where your opinions can lead to consequences. So, choose your words wisely. Enjoy the show. Oh, man, oh, man, people, man. Welcome back to another episode of Opinions and Consequences. Off the books, man, you know, the thought-provoking the sometimes controversial, the the spark fire setting conversations that we have here on Opinions and Consequences. Off the books, you know, the condensed version or the full version of Opinions and Consequences. I'm your host, AJ McLaughlin. I got bottom line Burke in the building. What's yeah. poppin', Slizzy? I'm happy to be here, man. Happy to be back in the building. Yeah, it was good, baby. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I likes. I like. <laughs> yeah. I like. Oh, thank you, yeah, man. Thank you. Being back in Boston, you know, sometimes it gets cold. Though, <laughs> Yo, so. my man got the <laughs> my man got a custom winter blazer. Be, be. Hey, real quick, I got to tell you. I got to tell you. <laughs> Yo, at the, air, at the airport, Atlanta airport, right? So okay. I, woke, I woke up kind of late. You know what I'm saying? Usually, when you you turn forty plus, once you cross that line, okay, okay. you expect certain things not to work, right? Okay. So I had a six o'clock flight. So. I'm not thinking the, the alarm ain't gonna work, but it didn't, yeah. right? So I woke up late. Long story short, went to the airport. I got there like 5.03. Oh no. Flight leaves at six. <sighs> so I had to, I, I quickly turned it went, got the park, you know, with the podcast and everything, <laughs> got the buzz in, took, turned to no doubt. And it's my life. <laughs> Don't you oh, know? Okay. Right? Went to the front of the line. I was like, uh, uh, I left my ID. I left my ID. I left my ID. <laughs> uh, I was already here. I was already here. Da, 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 da. Right, yo, skip 990 people. And they went for it. Congratulations to everybody that was there. Because I was shook I wasn't going to make it. Yo, see what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to clap it up for you. Because it's my life. <laughs> Don't you forget. Listen, man, we're going to get right into the meat and potatoes, people. Guys, man, this episode is about the new era of dating, man. Um, Maul, I know you have some questions, man. Right, like, let's and this get is, to let's, it, let's, let's, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Hey, let's get a little spicy, too. You know oh, what shit, I mean? like so, Sasson. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, but check it out. Let's get to it. So, what are your qualifications? We both you know, husky, got, got, husky, 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 muscular, husky. whatever. You know. <laughs> Big dudes, as some people right. say, right? <laughs> What's your qualification of a BBW with respects to women? What's the What's your over and under? Your oh over my under? God! Okay, listen, I'm gonna direct over here first. Okay, people. I want to make eye contact with you. Listen, sweetheart. Um, <clears throat> if your if your if your gut goes over your belt buckle, it's game over. It's game over. This is respect, man. This is respectfully speaking. Like you know what I mean. Like there's certain like you know BBWs. I, I I love my BBWs. Like they keep you warm in the winter. Yes. You know what I mean. BBWs are supposed to be loved. All every all walks of life is supposed to be lo- um loved. Okay. Um, but yeah, I have, they can't, they can't pass that threshold. If I'm questioning your weight, it's not happening. That's what it like, is. I'm, I'm like, if I look you, I'm, I'm sizing you up. I'm like, nah, bread frame, my bed frame is not going to look, it's not going to, it's not going to last. It's not gonna, you, yeah. It got to hold up. Yep. Yeah. It got, it got to hold up. But well, <laughs> as you know, I'm down Atlanta. Down Atlanta. <laughs> and, and, the, and the ladies down Atlanta, they tell me often too. That there's there is a healthy demographic of men that don't mind a little extra tummy tuck, and mm. and because and, and there's a lot of women that be wearing the short short shirts. Oh, the with crop the, tops with the, with the, belly the Zeke, out, Ezekiel with the, Elliott with the belly out though, yeah, with the belly out. The that's, Winnie the Pooh. That's that's prominent a little bit down there, man. That's prom- I Hey, I you know I no judgment. <laughs> you do what you do, but no, that was just something that came up. A couple of fellas was asking. You know about that, so I was like, "I'm going to Boston. Let me ask uh, AJ." <sighs> so, like, well, you don't have a, do you have an over and under? Do you have like, you, what's your like, what's your what's your what's your over like? Where you're like, nah, it's not gonna happen. Like, it's just like, sis, I'm not, I can't. When when the extra layers come out, where they got like a sweater and a coat, like you can't be built like a two liter coke. Like, if 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 
if I look at you and I see that I've, if I'm all I'm thinking about is like, have you been eating silly putty? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I got I, these are certain things where I'm just like, nah. It's not I think it's the personality too. I think it's nah, just it's if, 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 if 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 she's still bubbly and still affectionate and still, uh, you know, still good energy in each other's presence, you know. I, I, I think that as long as you gonna let it ride. It, 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 it depends. And this season of my life, no. Okay. Today, absolutely not. I'm just saying in general. I had to, I had to kind of go back to the yesteryears. But no, today, no. So, like, what's a, what's an under for a BBW? Like, you know how some, some girls be like, oh, I'm thick. <laughs> <laughs> Sweetheart. You a light ragu, boo-boo. Uh, <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> like, you know how some girls be like, I'm thick. And I, you're like like, the, I like the confidence. I like the confidence. But, I like the confidence. But, but then you're though. looking at them like, where? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then it goes back to attitude, personality. No, it does. It does. It does. You know it what does, I mean? That confidence, uh, that thing, that thing does does wonders too to help you kind of maybe overlook some things if you are in the indecisive, you know, teetering on maybe I will or will not. But today, no, I, I, I'm not doing the overflow or just the extra, extra, extra. extra. <sighs> I'm all, I always like a voluptuous woman. I mean, we big dudes, we muscular sometimes. Life gets stressful. Yeah. And I, I, <laughs> Life gets stressful. And, and, I, it's and good I need, to kinda like, I need uh, my counterpart to hold me up sometimes. Yeah, yeah. You, it's, it's good to... I want it, you it, to carry me over the shoulder. Like, nah, if you can carry me over the shoulder, you're, like, you're, like, you're built different. You're built real different. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, but nah, I, def- I definitely like, you know, a voluptuous woman. And, uh, but nah, yeah, it's, it's just a question that that a couple of fellas was talking about. So I, I, I felt like... No, nah, that's all it. Let's bring it up. Let's that's all it. it. That's all it. That's all it. Let me ask you this, man. So what... In this new era of dating, what has been some uncommon, some new uncommon etiquettes and behaviors that you have encountered in this dating world now? Have you accepted it? Um, any rec- recommendations how to cope with this madness if you're not accepting it? Like, what is some of the things that you have have encountered, like, you know what I mean, like, throughout this whole new era of dating? I just think that, without question, just, I, send all emails to Jamal Brick, Jamal, oh, Jamal Falcons, I don't, it, oh, whatever. Shit. But there, there, but there is a reality right now in the in the dating space and climate. I'm not gonna say all, but there, there's a healthy demographic of women that do have unprecedented expectations of. Man, and how things are supposed to go, or what a relationship really constitutes, or or, or, or how it's supposed to operate. Definitely. And I think that I think that that there's a there's a disconnect that that remains because once they reveal, okay, this is what I'm looking for, this is my expectation of the man, and then vice versa, you could kind of see the the separation keeps keeps widening okay. as far as like, is that even possible? Mm. Is is he able to even again sustain that type of lifestyle or or whatever the request that the young ladies is uh, asking? And, and quite frankly, you know, we it's also understood that if if it is a transactional, which a lot of times it is, then she'll just go get it from somebody else. Big facts. So 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 if I if I was a man, why would I sign up for such lofty, um, unrealistic um, exchanges? When, when you think about it, she's designing a relationship that's for her, by her, and because of her. Mm. And so, um, I don't know. I just think that uh, it's it's spooky out here. I don't mean on some Halloween thing because it's <laughs> Halloween in October, but it is, it is spooky. But uh, what I accept, you got you, you got to play the game. The game is the game. You know what I mean? The game, the game, and 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 and, and right now. It's it's a it's a tricky one. It's a tricky one. It's, a tricky one. it's it is it is it is it is. Um, yeah, it's this 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 has been a, a lot new. Um, you know, one of the new uncommon ones that we're you know we're probably not more familiar with with, with now this day and age is, you know, the taking pictures of the the food and you know right. like. Yeah, oh wait wait don't eat yet um let me take a picture but they don't want to they don't want to take a picture of you no. No, because they're by themselves. Okay. They had two plates, though. Oh, let me just take a picture. 
Send it to the group chat. Yeah, I haven't. I haven't experienced that. No, I know, but you know what I mean? But, like, you know what I mean? You you see it enough where people, like, yo, damn, like, why don't you post me? Oh, no, like, you know, this is, this, I just want to, no, I do this for my girls, because. <laughs> for the group chat. For the group chat. Yeah. Okay, cool. Nah, I don't know. It's, I just, I, I, I just think that. It is understood that both men and women absolutely want to be in relationship, mm. but at what level? Mm. And another question or layer is how often, mm. right? I know right now there is that highly controversial um, narrative or noise with respect to Jada Pickett Smith. I love you, Jada. I love you, Jada. Go get that book worthy. Um, but we are now seeing what... Jada Pickett Smith and Will Smith really meant when they said they literally took divorce off the table. And um, I know it's very unconditional, unconditional, con- conventional and unorthodox, but maybe, just maybe, they may be closer to the truth mm. than what's prescribed and what's what's out here um, advertised as to what exactly a relationship Ship should consist of or how it's supposed to operate, but um, it's it's tough, man. It's it's tough out there. It's it's it's, it's not. No it's, it's super tough. It's super yeah, tough. No Whereas it's one of those things where it's just like you know, we're in a new day and age where we are really figuring it out, like as we go along, that's good, that's and and it's one of those things where it's just like half the time we're wrong. It's like more than half because it's new. Because it's so new. Yeah. But now it's so, and now, now we're in a in, we're in a world full of emotionally unstableness of a lot of people. Where you're like, oh, I gotta thread lightly. I gotta tread lightly with this topic, with this discussion, because I don't know what right. reaction I'm gonna get from him or her. Yeah, and I think I think that's a great point because the reality also is with the advancement of technology and how it's so quickly accelerating. Especially with uh, the emergence of AI, I think it's also shifting the importance of the emotional intelligence as opposed to just regular mm. IQ. The EQ is starting to take precedence, and it's in so many people are uh, trying to be therapists, <laughs> but you know, lead that to the professionals. But um, but another thing is uh, speaking of the dating landscape and kind of the shift in the newfound dynamics of relationships between you know men and women and stuff the question i do have is is there any correlation of the growing noticeable number of women who don't cook all in the name of the advertised lifestyle that you see on social media and the alarming number of women unsatisfied with their body matrix index is there a correlation Yes, you know, I, I I do think there's a correlation, um, based off. I think it's I think it's based off the ignorance. Like I feel like a lot of people have this, you know what I mean? Like you know, I don't know. Like I, I you know, and, and don't get me twisted, guys. You know, ladies, you know, you got you got your own voice. We all know you do. All oh, my single ladies. Uh oh oh. Um, I feel like. A lot of females are very um, persuade or influenced by other dominant females or independently strong females. So if that female is doing this and she's showcasing the lifestyle she lives, this 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 young female may want to follow suit, not knowing that this person may understand like okay listen i'm not telling them that i eat out every single day but i'm telling them that i just eat out this is my lifestyle but whenever i go home i prep my meals i eat kale i do spinach shakes you know what i mean i do yoga i go to the gym x y and z so I feel like, you know, to answer your question, you know what I mean? I feel like a lot of females, you know, that have that lifestyle that want to eat out all the time and all this stuff, but then you don't cook. They're not understanding the full lifestyle of it. Yeah. 
And you got to be careful too, especially nowadays. You don't even know what you're eating. You don't know what they're big putting facts, in the food. Big facts, how much they're a lot of processed food, it. Yeah. A lot of processed food and, you know, groceries are high. Mm-hmm. Not not just for the mm-hmm. consumer, but also <laughs> but also but also the rest of the owners, the people purchasing the food, right? And um I also just think that where where the women at in their 60s and 70s and 50s the the kind of spill the information back down to the younger generation. I just think that there's kind of like a lack of information that, uh, you know, I know I know that so many women are like, oh, you know, if you say, oh, do you cook or clean? It's, it's, it's extremely emotional, I mean, a uh, controversial question, especially down in Atlanta, if you ask women if you cook or clean. And they also go back to like, oh, this ain't the 60s no more. We're not, opp- women are not oppressed no more. Um, I, I think that because they they heard about them or they heard about them, they heard about their grandmothers, you know, just predominantly being at home and, and, and maybe they say, oh, baby, I wish I had my own money. Baby, I wish I worked more instead of being stay at home. And now the antithetical, the complete opposite has happened where women are now uh, working. Women are now, you know, the lion's share is sometimes the breadwinner. Um, but what they but they what they don't have is a man. And ultimately, that's what that's what the goal is, the man. Grandma might not have the money. Grandma might not have the job. But grandma had papa. Grandma, grandma had grandpapa. Mama had papa. You know, and I think that that is now slowly being replaced. I know in the digital age and stuff like that. Instead of man, they got a house. Instead of man, they got a car. Instead of man, they got these all these other objects. And that's where their justification is. But the main thing is the main thing. They want a man. And they don't got a man. Right, so they they can they can they can showcase all of the shiny things, mm. but ultimately, when a man looks at that and hears what they're saying, they're saying, "Oh, that's great and everything, but uh, where's your man? Yeah, where's your Where, where's your man? You know what I'm saying? So where's Bay at? Yeah, and 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 so uh, I mean, this is a lot of other topics we could discuss. Discuss that you know is right off right off of this particular subject matter, but I. I just hear so many women um, that that I meet talk about that, but then they still privately are frustrated that they don't have a man. Yeah, I feel like I feel like you know what I mean. They're just you know they're stuck in this void. They're stuck in this weird void where you know they're trying to fulfill two generations. They're trying to fulfill the new generation, and they're trying to fulfill their old old ways or old, the way that they grew up on like yeah. you know what i mean like i think I the just intentions like, are great i yeah. think the intentions are great but i i do think that uh that's why i think there's an information gap it's just because so so often they, it's it's almost if like it they're reading from the same script they're saying the same thing the rebuttals are the same the questions are the same the silence is the same like but, but and I, um, I i got something just along that line like yo because i because I, I wanted to ask you like make it make sense you know, like you just said, like, you know, some of the stuff is not adding up nowadays. Like, my thing is, is like this. Some, like, I feel that there's a lot more stuff that doesn't add up where it's just like, wait, what? Yeah. Like, so, perfect example, like, um, sweetheart, you got to you make 60000 a year. You're in an apartment. Two-door Honda Civic. No judgment. Um, but then you want your your partner to make six figures, own a house, yeah, um, and drive an expensive car. Right. How does that make sense? How does that make sense? Like, make it make sense for me. I can't make it make sense I, because it doesn't. It doesn't make. It doesn't add up for me. Yeah, I can't. I think that is for that young lady who has that ex- expectations financially. Um, for the, for their man to, to to explain that one, but that that also is somewhat commonplace. And I believe if you wanted somebody that's six two that makes over six figures and da 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 all the all the things that you you hear so often that's distributed and and uh, you know repeated on social media, I think it's like a three percent, one percent, four. It's like going to the league. You and I went to the league. It's Yo, like it's like essentially they want they want them they want to go to the league. So I don't know. I, whoever is uh doing this agenda thing is doing a phenomenal job because honestly, in, in, in all seriousness, it's like the gap just keeps widening when people sit down and get 
get real about the uh, the conversation um, about what they they want or foresee in a relationship, and then the further along you get along that journey down that road, you realize how far apart the reality is for what you thought it is. And the, and the bottom line is this: you could get bottom what line, you bottom want. Bottom yeah, bottom you could get what you want. It just may not look like the way you want it to look. Mm. Right, and I think that we all fall victim to that. We're, we're human. We're not perfect. You know what I mean? But it's spooky out there. It is. It just doesn't. It doesn't. And like, you know what I mean? Like, I just want it to make sense. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying, ladies, gentlemen, don't shoot for the stars. Like, but like at the same time, make it make it like reasonable. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Like, if you, you know, we, we're athletes, so we could relate to certain things. Like, yo, know, if you if you got D3 skills, don't, don't think you're going to get picked up from a D1 school. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you got to be a realistic with it, and then you have to sit there and be like, yo, I'm D3 worthy. Maybe I should start looking at getting a job. But but in this situation, too, they're, they're the recruiter. Yep. They're the institution. Yeah, you're right. They're the coaches. So they can stand on that hill as long as they want to but yeah the reality is that tick 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 tick, and it doesn't make sense like you know what i mean like i get it man everyone should have their standards everyone should have standards but like at the same time if you can't achieve those same standards that you're trying to put on another person eh, i don't think the math is adding up the math ain't mathing like maul says yo maul said yo the math ain't mathing like you see what i'm saying so it's just one of those things where it's like yo and it, you, and it, and it, fun, it used to be funny. I used to laugh at like, damn, she said, what? Oh, that's how she feel? That was not funny. But now, you know, tick, 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 right? You know, as you as you get older and you see more, you, you see like, oh, shoot, this is a real thing. And um, it's it's not productive. It's not, it's not going to get people the results that they ultimately want. And um, it's just this constant, unsatisfactory, unhappy, cyclical thing that happens that but i think conversation like this and and just continue to, to um you know go through that process hopefully things change with new information yeah. i'm hoping i'm hoping because it's like <sighs> i don't know where they're getting the inspiration from i don't know where they the, mo- the I, movies yeah, the tv movies, social media yep yep yep, the, yep, yep, the, yep, yep. the songs you yeah. know but you know all this stuff ends right <laughs> it's fiction, and, and, <laughs> That's, that's, what, that's what they want. That's what, no, that's what they be wanting. That's what they be wanting. Sweetheart, know? man, all I'm saying is, yo, just, you know what I mean? Aim for, aim for the moon, but, yo, like, damn. I got, I got a, couple, a couple other questions. Quick ones, though. Quick, Wait, quick, no. Quick. <laughs> no. But no. Okay. Right, go, 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 go ahead. Go ahead with your question. Oh, no, I'm just saying. You, you want closing remarks? No, nah, no. Nah, you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. <laughs> all right. So on this, top, on this topic, right? Okay. Let's say you meet a meet a woman that you digging, you failing. You yeah. Know. But she says, yo, AJ, I'm not I'm not cooking. You staying or? No, I'm out. Like, wait, wait. She, she says she's she's not she's cooking. She's not cooking. She want you I'm, you meet one of them. I don't cook. I oh, don't cook. oh, she oh, she's saying that, oh, she don't cook or nothing like yeah, that. She ain't cooking. She's not cooking. Uh, I need an alternative then. Like, you know what I mean? Like, are you gonna order out? Like, you know what I mean? Like, my thing is, it's like, yo, if you're not going to cook, you're not going to cook. But yeah. um, you say if I'm staying? Yo, you're going to stay with her? You're going to, like, keep pursuing? No, nah, I, I, need, I, need, I, need, I need I need, I need, I need, I need to know that you could, you could hold yourself. Yeah. I need you, I need to know something. I need, I need to know that, like, yo, like, I need to know. Tell me, baby, girls. <laughs> I need to. No, but, like, I need to know that you could hold it down for yourself, sis. Like, I, I think it's important. It's important that I know that you know you could survive. Yeah. How'd you make it this far? Yeah, we both we both could cook. I'm we sure, yeah. Cook. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, we throw down, throw down. Um, But, <clears throat> yeah, I just, I, just think, I just think it's important. I think no, it's important. they're very important. very important. All right, so on that note, too, with respects to the cleaning, do you, are you big on, like, uh, somebody who actually – cleans or you know because where everyone's busy the man and, and the woman's working so would you also entertain idea if uh every other week or some, somebody come you have a cleaner come by 
it, it, as opposed to just having just y'all two predominantly clean. No, this is 2023. There's more options. No, no, no. I need, I need to know. That. Like, I, I could, I could, I could get it if we have a super, super busy schedule, like where we're moguls and our time is. But like, yo, if we, if we could kick it right. after working a nine to five, we, we could clean the house. Right. Like you know, what I mean, I, and I think I think that you know we and we chopped up about it. I think it is therapeutical, mm-hmm. and, you know, and I, and I and I think it creates more of a better bond yeah, with guess. with you and your counterpart. Like you know, you guys are cleaning together, you guys are doing something together. It may not even you could throw soap at each other. You know what I mean? It's somewhere it's, it's corny, mm-hmm. and after you clean, you order pizza. Like you know what I mean? It's <laughs> cheesy. It's cheesy, but like you know what I mean. But it's I, I feel like it's therapeutic. Where it's like, oh my god, we did this. You know? Okay. No. It's Facebook worthy. I can I can do both. <laughs> I can do both. I I, I definitely and it depends enjoy on the lifestyle. Yeah, I, I definitely definitely enjoy cleaning stuff like that. But I could see how it could be a little bit more convenient if once a month, or, you know, every other week, two mm-hmm. times, you know, every mm-hmm. other month, something like that, where somebody comes comes in to help to give relief and things of that nature as well. Yeah. Um, I can see I can see that as well. I can see that also. Um, finally, well, then you would. You want to entertain like nannies and all that stuff. No, like like I said, if it's it depends on the lifestyle that we have. Like if we are like on the on the go every day, like I get it. I get it, bro. Like, yeah, Ye said it best. He was like, yo, like, um, like the camp the um Something the cameras, about the cameras and the new, started, new babysitters. Yeah, like this. Yeah. The, yeah, you know what I mean. You stop taking a credit, like you know what I mean. Like it's just one of those things where it's just like, yo, like if it if it warrants the lifestyle, and where you're gonna kill two birds with one stone, but you always gotta remember, like, yo, you need that authenticity to you know bring up your children, your family, and all that. I, so. I believe that, yeah, because there's no there's no when you cut corners, don't expect a squared deal. I remember Bill Belichick said that back in the day. But um, but nah, yeah, okay. That's just I think that's important. I think something um that 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 I hear, uh, both noise from men and women who are in relationship, long term relationship, married relationships. They, that's still something that is often discussed. So uh, now nah, I just was curious with your, okay. your thoughts right. on that. What's what, what some what's some positive remarks before we get out of here? Um, if you're on. If you if you if you're on a team mm. or you're, you're screaming we're a team we're a team we're a team we're a team, you can't keep calling isolation plays. Mm, talk about it. You can't keep calling isolation plays. Talk about it. But, uh, but nah, yeah, that's that was that's that was deep. I like that. that. I like that. I like that. I like that. Bigs Burke, man, shout out, <laughs> shout out to Bigs Burke, man. Uh, I, I seen that one the other day. I said, woo. Baby, I gotta use that one. That was good. <laughs> nah, I like that. I like that because it's just like, yo, it's like, when, especially if you're in a relationship, you can't be kind of high. So, yeah. um, a little bit of words of wisdom before we go, people. You know, I know mom was talking about BBW. Is like, it's funny, like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> yo, it's funny, like, you know how, like, when, um, when heavy, heavy girls lay on you and they ask you, am I heavy? And I'll be like, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> More of the story, people. Listen, I'm all right with you not liking me. I'm just mad that you lied to me about it. Mm. You heard? Salutations, man. I want to thank you guys for rocking out with us for another episode of Peans Consequence Off the Books. We got bottom line burnt in the yeah. building. Till next time, you already know the vibes, man. Salutations. Chill.